Hello friends, today we are going to see data interpretation on table and pie chart. So actually I have taken one table and two pie charts in this particular question. So this particular question is asked in SBI PO 2014. Coming to the question, these questions are based on the following table and pie charts. So in the table it was number of students studying in different streams in 6 engineering colleges M to R. So these are the streams, computer science, electrical engineering, electronics, civil, mech and others. Now in the pie charts, they, show, they are given the distribution of students of different states in college N and Q. This is college N and college Q. And for the different states, they have given the percentage by distribution. Now, the first question. How many students doing civil engineering in college N were from Uttar Pradesh? If you look at here, this percentage division is for the total um, total number of students of college N, but they are they have asked for civil engineering in particular. If we take so in other place it is 25 percent, 25 percent of the total we get it as the people from college N from Uttar Pradesh, but they are specifically asking about civil engineering which we cannot derive directly. So this is option four which cannot be determined. In the next question, what is the difference between number of students from college from D in colleges N and Q? In college N, Delhi percentage is 20%. Now, the total total number of students in college N is so we have to add all these. This comes out to be 0 plus 0 plus so it is 0 and 2 plus 1, 3, 5, 8, 8 plus 8, 16, plus 2, 18, carry as 1. 1, 2, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So it is total is 1080. We need 20% of this, which is 10% is 108 in 2 times. So it is 16, 1, 2, 2, 1, 6. This is from college N. We have to find the difference from college Q. In college Q, it is 12% is Delhi. So in the same way, in college Q, it is total is 0 4 plus 2 6 8 plus 8 14 21 30 so it is carries 3 5 7 8 9 10 12 so total number of students is 1200 now we need 12 percent so 10 percent is 120 1 percent is 12 it is so plus 2 percent is 24 this comes out to be 144 we need to calculate the difference so 6 minus 4 2 11 minus 4 7 so our answer is 72 which is option 2 coming to next question what is the difference between the number of students pursuing computer science and those pursuing mechanical engineering in the given six colleges now we have to find the total number of students in computer science as well as in the mechanical engineering and find the difference between those in the computer science this one and in the mechanical this one this comes out to be 0 5 plus 2 7 7 plus 2 9 plus 8 17 21 27 2 4 6 sorry 2 plus 2 4 5 7 8 10 11 in the same way for the mechanical it is 8 plus 0 8 now 2 plus 4 10 2 plus 8 10 19 24 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 it is 9 so finding difference of this 2 6 minus 4 2 so in our options so unit sentence plus 2 to us is option 1 for any doubts we can calculate 10 minus so it is 11 minus 2 9 is also 2 so option 1 is our answer in next question by what percent is the number of students from Punjab in college n more or less than those from Maharashtra in college Q so in our previous slides we have calculated for number of student total number of students in college n as 1080 similarly for college q it is 1200 
now students from Punjab and college and in Punjab they have only 10 percent so it is 108 in Maharashtra from college Q so it is 15 percent so 10 percent is 120 5 percent is 60 so it is 180 so we have to calculate percentage more or less from college Q so with the base as college Q we have to calculate the value so our denominator is 180 so Q value into 100 this comes out to be 72 by 18 into 10 so this is 6 threes, 6 twelves, 3 fourths this comes out to be 40 percent so n is 40 percent so it is still minus here so we get minus here and it is minus 40 percent so n is 40 percent less than q which is option 4 coming to next question the total number of students in college or forms approximately what percent of the total number of students in college m n and p put together so here the total number of students in college or we have to cal calculate this or this comes out to be so we have to be faster the addition so 6 plus 5 11 20 25 31 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so in or this is 1010 divided by total number of forms for students from college M, N and P now from M it is 250 so 0, 0, 2, 10 carries 1, 6, 7, 8, 14, 21, 23, 28 so carries 2, 2 plus 2, 4 plus 3, 7 7 plus 1, 8, 10, 11, 12 so it is 1, 2, 8, 0 from M from n so in our previous slides we calculated n as 1080 now for p it is 0 plus 8 plus 2 it is 0 carry as 1 9 9 plus 7 16 16 20 22 29 carry as 2 2 plus 1 3 3 4 5 6 7 8 so this is 890 so it is since it is percentage we multiply with 100 now this is this we have for the total of this 0 9 plus 8 17 17 plus 8 25 2 2 plus 2 4 4 plus 8 12 1 so this is 3 2 5 0 so we have to calculate an approximate value here first let us remove these two zeros this so we'll take this as 100 so this comes out to be 100 divided by 325 into 100 this goes for 5 6 5 5 and this is 520 and again this is 5 13 this goes for 5 4 this so this is 400 divided by 13 so 13 in 13 3 times is 39 so this is comes around 30 per 30 30 which is 390 so we have so it is which is greater than 30 percent so in our option would so option one is our answer which is approximately 31 percent this is we can consider as that's it guys thank you for watching my video for more videos do subscribe to my channel pkr tidbits you can also follow me on facebook at facebook.com slash pkr tidbits have a nice day